What up, hunty? Welcome back to Way of Yao. My name is Yao, and it is a pleasure to see you all. So, for this video, I'm going to be 110% honest with you guys. I didn't know what to film. Recently, you guys know that I live for colour. I have been pushing out colourful looks left, right and centre. And I was trying to think to myself, what colour combo have I not used? What have I not done before? I constantly want to be on top of my um, makeup game and be bringing you guys something new, something vibrant, something colourful, something um, that I feel in my heart. I thought to myself, what colours have I not used? and monochrome just popped into my head and I think it could be a bop. We're gonna see how this goes. Gonna be doing black, greys and whites basically on my lips and on my eyes. And if you guys know, grey is a very difficult colour to find. Who is gonna put grey in a palette, sis? But I managed to find a palette that I will be using. I'll show you that in a roly mo. But I do need to do a little bit of an intro. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can join the family. Girl, we love everybody and we are very welcoming over here. And if you haven't already hit that like button, make sure to hit that like button just to show that you enjoyed this video, that it gave you what you needed in life, that your wig was not just tugged but snatched along with the edges and everything else that goes with that. And don't forget to leave in the comment section if you like the video, what you want to see in my next videos um, and stuff like that. If you want to get to know me a little bit more, if you want me to do a Q&A or whatever it may be, let me know down below. And without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Ooh. <laughs> so the palette that I'll be using to achieve the grey will be the Coloured Rain Love Lies palette. This is how it looks. Coloured Rain do so many amazing products. They send me over a whole bunch of stuff and they are sickening. This is what the palette looks like. It has six shades and as you can see, we have a grey one here. This is the shade that I'm going to be using. It's called Misty Nights. I'm going to use it as a base. So to start off, as you can see, my brows are already snatched and slayed. I will be going in with the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Rewind Concealer. And I love the fact that all of Coloured Rain's palettes come with a mirror as well. So I'm going to be using that to apply the eyeshadow and concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I won't be back. I'm literally just gonna carve out where I want the crease to be. Oh my god. I mean the pigment of this palette is intense. I'm gonna take it all the way out and up toward the brow. Okay so I know I'm looking like super duper crazy but taking this more fluffier brush I'm just gonna blend off the edge of that grey. Like, if you guys know of any palette in this earth that has a grey in the palette, please comment it down below. I'm constantly looking to try out new brands and see, you know, just stuff that I haven't tried before, because who's tried a grey eyeshadow? If you have even tried a grey eyeshadow, let me know down below, because God, I sure have not. So as you can see, we are starting to look low-key, high-key, sicking in. Blended, bitch. Girl. Okay, perfect. So the grey is blended out how I would like it to be blended. So I'm going to move on to the next palette. I'm going to be using the Life's A Drag palette. I wanted to use a palette that had both black and white in it. And this just happens to have both black and white in it. A similar brush to the first one I used, but this one's a little bit fluffy. And I'm going to be mainly placing this colour in the outer V. Just more packing it in there. Now, I'm not going to lie. This palette does have an awful ton of fallout, but you know what I say, fallout means pigment. Now taking a very, very, very small blending brush and a little bit more of that gray, I'm gonna diffuse the black into the gray. And I'm gonna use the gray literally just because I want to create a medium between the two, but I don't want the black to take over because it's very easy to get carried away with black and for black to basically become the look. So this is how it looks blended out. I know I'm looking a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease and it will all start to fit together. I'm gonna use the same Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer and I'm gonna use this Morphe brush. I don't know what it's called, but I know that I've had it for a few years now. Um, it's literally a very small flat brush. I love it. It's literally what I've been using for years to cut my crease. What I usually like to do 
I start off the crease and then I literally just place a marker where I want the crease to reach. I just like to do that so that I know that when my eyes are open and looking straight ahead, the crease will still be invisible. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend the edge of the concealer with this tiny little brush here. I'm gonna dip back into the Luna Beauty Life's A Drag Palette and I'm gonna take that white and I'm gonna be popping that in my inner corner. So I'm going ahead and taking that black now and I'm blending it into the edges of that cut crease just to soften it a little bit. Perfect, so this is the eye look more or less complete. Now, if you know me and you're not new to the channel, you will know that we love a little cute baby wipe. This is literally what I use to clean up all of my eyeshadow looks. I love a nice cut, cat eye sort of effect, so I like to use a baby wipe. I used to use like tape back, like brack the day, but I stopped using that, I literally just use this. One of these like, um wipes brands need to like sponsor me or something like look at how much fallout there is wow okay so now i'm gonna move on to skin and for my primer you guys know i don't usually use primer but this one has me feeling intrigued and after my last video i'm really getting back into using primers and hopefully this one will be a really good one so this is the hydro grip primer from milk makeup it's gonna sweat a little bit on the back of my hand a very sticky primer it almost smells like a mix between mouthwash and PVA glue. It has like a, yeah, like mouthwash and PVA glue. It's very, 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 very interesting smell and we're gonna give it a go. Just gonna take my beauty blender and just gonna dip it in there. This is how I've been applying my primers recently. Wow, it feels quite sticky already. I'm gonna squirt one more pump just for the forehead area. So for foundation, I will be using the Flawless Finish Foundation from e.l.f makeup and this is in the shade chestnut all right so i'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my base makeup contour concealer powder and i'll be back to finish off the eyes and the lips hey girls i am back and as you can see my base is finished i'm gonna go ahead and quickly highlight i'm gonna be using the bronze gold highlighter from elf cosmetics this is how it looks it looks quite light but when you actually put it on it's a really nice natural sort of sheen this is one of my more natural looking highlighters i was quite surprised when i actually swatched it because i'm not gonna lie if you want a blinding highlighter this is not gonna be the one for you so i'm just gonna go ahead and do this side as well like it's barely even there so guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes i'm gonna smoke a little bit of black along my lower lash line and then i'm gonna take the silver metallic liner from stargazer and pop these inner corners to the gods and back now one thing that you guys know i never do is put shadow on my lower lash line but for whatever reason this is looking sickening this i cannot speak for so you're just gonna have to watch can you see that it just helps to lift the whole eye bang bitch i'm gonna go ahead and highlight my lip literally you can use any color but for this video i do want to go with something quite icy and white looking because you know we're going for the whole monochromatic look okay so now moving on to lips i want to do a black and white ombre so i'm going to be using these two products from kat von d their um, everlasting matte liquid lipsticks are amazing this is in the shade witches i've been using this for years i've bought this a few times um it does run out kind of quickly because it's a slim tube but it's quality so come before quantity and i'm going to be using the locket concealer in the shade white out this is like super white this is actually a concealer who would have thought and it's really thick it's almost paint like I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with this brush so this is how the ombre lip looks. So we are almost finished, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick on some lashes. These are the 3D Luxury Mink TL3 lashes from Tarty Lashes. They're really cute, they're really nice and fluffy, but not too strong. I still want the white to be quite bold and to really pop through on the look. Perfect, so this is how we are looking with the lashes. Gorgeous, I absolutely love these lashes. It gives me life, death, and resurrection. 
So, we're going to go ahead and set the face. We're going to be using the Anastasia Dewey Setting Spray. This one is kind of new. I think it came out a couple of weeks ago and they sent me this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Then going to fix up my hair and I'll be back in a second to show you the final look. Perfect. So guys, this is the official look. I just took my hair out of cornrows and I achieved this twist out sort of style. If you guys would like to see more hair videos from me because I used to do some years ago but I stopped doing it and I kind of think I've picked up some tips and tricks that could really help some of you guys. If that's something you would like to see make sure to leave in the comment section so that I know that there is a demand for those types of videos. And on that note that concludes the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a part of the family. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I upload. Um, hit the like button helps to boost the video higher and shows that you love me and after this video why not watch another one like come on sis so on that note have a lovely day guys and I will see you all soon see ya